Hello and welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a dubstep in the style of Rusko, inspired by his tracks Mr. Chips and Hammer Time. I've also taken some inspiration from his Future Music Masterclass, which is linked below. As always, the project file samples and presets are available for a small contribution in the description. If you learn something from this video, drop a like and consider subscribing. You can also contact me for production lessons and other services using the email address in the description. Our BPM is 140. And we're in the key of F Phrygian dominant. Let's start with the kick. This is an 808 inspired sample. Next, we have the drums. First, we have the snare. I was inspired by Rusko's future music video here as I layered a clap and snare with white noise before resampling it. I'd recommend checking out that video if you want a more detailed explanation of this technique. Next, we have the Tambal fill. Be aware this is from Ableton's library, so it won't be included in the project. There's a utility monoing below 500 hertz as this sample is natively panned right, which we can see from the waveform. Next, we have the high perks. So we have the first hat. When making dubstep, my approach is to contrast regular rhythms like this hat and more syncopated rhythms from other perks. Hat 2 is a regular offbeat house style pattern. Then we have the third and fourth hats. Have thought it's a bit more like an effects hit, sonically speaking. Next, we have shakers one and two. And finally, the cymbal and sleigh bell, with the sleigh bell being heard in hammer time. This two-step groove is applied to everything in the drums group, aside from the fill, to humanize the MIDI. And on the group, there's saturator, drum bus in parallel, and EQ. Reverb is applied via Sende. And as I often do, I've chosen the empty club reverb, which helps put all the elements in the same space. If you want more tips on how to program dubstep drums, check out my dubstep playlist, which I'll link on the screen and in the description. Next, we have the bass. Here I've utilized the kind of triplet rhythms heard in Mr. Chips. I've used Massive both because it was released during this era of dubstep and because of this unique Emmatorque waveform. Oscillator 1 is this square wave taken down by two octaves. Oscillator 2 is a saw wave taken down by an octave. And then we have the aforementioned Emmatorque waveform. And I've used the phase modulation knob in the modulation oscillator to modulate oscillator 3. All three oscillators are running into this low pass filter with its cutoff modulated by LFO5, which is a triangle shape. There's resonance on the filter as well. I've used a sample and hole to add some high end grit. There's classic tube. Dimension Expander, and EQ, boosting lows. On the channel, there's Saturator, two EQs, mostly removing mid-range. Bass Mono, below 500 hertz. And a sub-side chain rack, using the kick as a trigger. Wow, 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 wow,
Reverb is applied via A. Next, we have the effects. You can see there are quite a few different samples here, and having lots of ear candy is essential to Rusko's style during this period of his production. I'll go through these individually. First, we have the crash. Next, we have the downer, and this has echo applied. Then we have the hoover, which is made with serum. In Serum, we have a saw wave with its unison at three and the detune taken up. The noise is also active using the bright white sample. In the effects, there's hyperdimension and distortion. And in the matrix, we have master tuning modulated by LFO1, which is creating the pitch drop. In the channel, there's drum bus in parallel and EQ. Next, we have the riser. You may have noticed the half bar cut in the drums, and this is to make space for this element, and Roscoe does something similar in Mr. Chips. There's extra reverb applied here. Then we have the tweet and laser. Both have echoes applied. Finally, we have the two sirens. And the police siren has an echo applied. On the group, there's saturator, EQ, and chorus with reverb applied via A. Next, we have the lead with a similar sound heard in Hammer Time. This is the same patch from my Joker video. We have a saw wave with its unison at seven. And the same for oscillator B, but it's taken up by an octave. The noise generator is also active. Everything is running into this low pass filter with its cutoff modulated by LFO2. In the effects, there's distortion. On the channel, there's Redux, the shifter, with its fine tune modulated by this LFO tool, which is creating the pitch wobble. EQ, bass mono below 500 hertz, and echo. Reverb is applied via A. Finally, we have the vocals. So we have the police vox, which I thought was in keeping with the sirens. Really any spoken or rapped vocal would work well. And we have some shouts from the Think Break 2 with some echo applied. On the group, there's Saturator, EQ, and Reverb via A. And that's the video. Please leave any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.